My blood? We Nords are born to be warriors. Most of our problems can be solved by fists, the rest by steel. Perhaps not, but it can indeed make most of the trouble go away. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time in the quiet little town of Whiterun, there lived a maiden called Uthgird, nicknamed the Broken. She was born sickly and frail, and so all the other kids had always picked on her, playing mischievous pranks just for a quick laugh. Spoken truly, but being sick was no excuse for me being weak. One day I decided I've had enough, so I punched the bully in the face. But I was just one girl, and there were five of them. I was lucky to walk out of that with all my limbs still attached to my body. What use would that be? I was too slow. They would have easily outrun me. What happened next was that I realized I would always be their prey if I had stayed weak. So I found a worthy master to teach me how to defend myself, Vignar Greymane, one of the best companions of his time. I trained with him when he'd come back from missions. He was a tough fighter and an even rougher teacher, but he taught me well. In a few months' time, I became stronger than all the kids in Whiterun. I might still be sick, but I wasn't letting that get in my way anymore. They tried it once, stealing my wooden sword and hitting me with it. But my fists quickly taught them that was the wrong idea. Five against one, one of them even had a sword, and they still lost to me. The second time, they came back to avenge their humiliation. The milk drinkers set a fire to my house and thought they could get away with it. They would have had my family in our sleep if the guards didn't see them. Sadly, the guards only caught one of those cowards. When I saw the bastard who got caught, I realized who else were involved. One by one, I paid those fools a visit, then broke all their limbs before they could utter a word. Henceforth, no one dared call me Uthgird the Broken anymore. I became the Unbroken, and I was the one who broke the others. Exactly. And they wouldn't have learned their lesson if I hadn't learned mine. Peace is for the soft guts. When you are weak, they will never make peace with you. So why should you make peace with them when you are strong? The kid who got caught, Embry, lost his home and wife a few years back. Word is he's become a petty, drunken little man and went to Riverwood because he couldn't afford the bannered mare anymore. Haven't heard much about the others. It seems some joined the Stormcloaks and died at Helgen. Some became bandits and died in shame. Good riddance. Of course. When I completed my trainings and grew old enough, Vignar vouched for me to join the companions. I wanted to fight him, to prove I've surpassed my master, but the Circle pitted me against a boy instead. In the Circle's eyes, I've always been that sickly little girl, even if I've proven my strength by clearing entire bandit forts alone. When they pitted me against that boy, I realized they were sticking to me the image of that sickly little girl they knew. They looked down on me. I was just overrun by shame and denial. I didn't want to be seen as weak. Not anymore. And then I... I lost control. My anger doesn't need to be contained. It's my weapon, greater than any fist or sword. Take that away, then I would truly be the girl they thought I was. I looked at his body, bruised, bloodied, broken. He was just a young man who barely got the swing, never even seen the world. Why would I want him to die? Why would the companions push him to die? Were they playing him? Like the other kids toyed with me? I only remembered that my mind was blank. Next thing I knew, I was drunk in the bannered mare. Apparently they didn't, or I wouldn't be drinking in the bannered mare that night. I suppose the guards just wrote it off as a duel gone bad. Though I guess Vignar also pulled some strings to protect his apprentice. Was that ground to have a hot-headed woman like me kill a meek, untested boy? They should have foreseen that. 
Vigner told them, and the circle still went along with it anyway. When the kids of Whiterun ganged up on me, he would always watch from a distance, never to join them and never to help me. He just laughed. He's a friend to none but himself. There's no honor in beating a dead rat. Ever since he fell out of the Jarl's favor, he's been wasting his money on God's know what drugs. The whole town knows that except his wife. He watched my suffering. Now the whole Whiterun watches his.